Hey, you going, guys? Have a go at this weather. Absolute glass out there. There's not a breath of wind. The perfect day for chasing spotty and school mackerel. Now, it's a pretty simple thing to do. All you need is a spin rod. So I've got a, uh, a six to 10 kilo spin rod here, 5,000 size reel, 30 pound braid, some 40 and 60 gram slugs. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna head up to the beacons. We're gonna drop some slugs down around the beacons, crank them back through, see if there's any school mackerel there. We're also gonna keep our eyes peeled for some birds. Now the birds signify big bait schools and, uh, and bait that's been brought to the surface by predators, mainly in this case, spotty and school mackerel. And it's a telltale sign that you're in for a good time. So uh, yeah, we're gonna get out there, have a look for some fish, see how we go. I think I can... Rightio, so you found yourself a school that's getting busted up by the birds. What you wanna do is punch in a nice long cast just in front of the school in the direction that they're heading. So that way your lure is gonna intercept the fish as you're retrieving it. You're gonna give it a quick second to sink down because you don't want to skip it across the surface. Let it sink down for a couple seconds and then just wind as fast as you can. Now you've got to make sure your drag set correctly, otherwise you can bust the fish off right on the hit. But when you <laughs> when they hit it, you'll definitely know because it goes from naught to hundred and pretty well a second. That's as simple it is as it is for uh, casting the birds, guys. Now let's check out the beacons, see what we can do there. Right, right guys, so we've done the bait schools with the birds working and the fish pulling them up to the surface. Now we're going to look at another bit of structure, the beacons. Now the beacons, they hold bait all the time. And as a result, mackerel, um, mackerel and all the other predators, they come around and attack it from there. So to fish the beacons, very similar. Grab yourself a nice heavy slug. This is a 60 grammer, but 45s work well as, as well. Chuck it in the vicinity so you got to remember the tide's probably going to be moving so you don't want to chuck it up the current and then have your lure drift back into the pole you want to let it sink all the way to the bottom and then it's as simple as winding it back as fast as you can just got to make sure you don't wind it too far and blow it out at the surface so here we go Ooh. none that time we'll give it one more go so chuck it nice and close to the beacon, let it sink all the way to the bottom. Now, hot tip: have a bit of a sand around the area first. That'll give you a good idea of whether there's bait in, uh, bait next to the beacon or not. Uh, that'll, that'll let you know if, if you're in the right area or you need to change beacons. I'm on the bottom now. Now, wind it as fast as I can. Nothing. Well. They're not on the beacons today. It seems like they're all chasing the birds and the bait around out in the flats. So uh, we're gonna go back, chase them. See if we can get a few more. You can see the bait busting up there. It's got a, got a 60 gram slug. Chuck it to the side. Oh no, we might have missed our chance. And uh, crank it back. Hope something eats it. Oh, oh yes. Woo. Good take too. Oh, he's a tiny. Got to be the smallest mackerel here, this guy. Ah, good release. Oh, absolute mayhem. Cast and capture. Oh! Ready? Get in there. Nice, spotty mackerel. Yahoo! Luke chasing his mates. Crank it. Take this guy off the side of the boat. Look at his mate, he's got his mate there. Just coming through again on the sounder. Game time. That's them.
perfect release actually because we are we've got enough fish oh yeah they're going up so there